Good morning everyone. This video is about radical function and relation between radical and rational exponents. So please watch the complete video. Thank you. Radical function. Radical is also called root. How we denote the root? We denote root like this. It can be square root, cube root. I will explain all these things later on. Uh, this time I am explaining something else. Let us take the example root 2. Square root. We call this square root. Why square root? I will explain in this video only. Uh, but this time I am explaining something else. So, uh, this is called square root of 2. It is also called principal square root of Why principal square root of 2? Because because this is positive square root of 2. Yes, there is also positive and negative square root. Like what is negative square root? If we will put negative sign then it is negative square root of 2. It is called negative square root of 2. So we can write uh, at the same time positive or negative square root of 2 then we will write like this positive and negative square root of 2 so this is about the root principle what is called principal square root negative square root so let's start uh, the radical function let us suppose y is equal to nth root of x so we can say y is equal to x to the power 1 by n and then we will reverse this power from this side to this side from uh, left uh, from right to left it will be y to the power n is equal to x. Here the number y is called nth root 
of x. The number n is referred to index. no index appear it means n is equal to 2 this is the reason in last example I called this is square root of 2 the square root of 2 because they because the, there is no index so n is equal to 2 radical are also used to define rational exponent the another way of representing the root is called rational exponent The rational exponent is a fraction, actually fraction exponent. The rational exponent is a fraction exponent. As I uh, given you last example, um, y is equal to nth root of x and then we can say x is to the power 1 by n so here one by n is called rational Component. radical and rational exponent radical and rational exponent are alternate way of representing same thing here is some example
square root of 9 is equal to 9 to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 3. Now, radical function, radical and rational exponent. So, this is called radical function and this is called rational exponent. This is the same, uh, same thing we had represented in different way. Value, the result is same, 3. We can take another example. Square at cube root of uh, 27 is equal to 27 to the power 1 by 3 is equal to 3. Again, here we can say this is radical. This is rational exponent, but the result is same. We had represent in a different way the same thing. This is the relation between radical and rational exponent. My next video is about properties of radical. So please subscribe my channel for latest update. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.